City of mine How I love, how I love The city of mine It never gets me down City of mine How I love, how I love The city of mine It never gets me down, yeah I was born in the city Race on its edges, my pop work is like What's up, y'all? CC back with another video. And for today's video, we're exiting our lazy girl era. Okay, we got girlfriends on the TV, we have a really long list of tasks to get through, and we're gonna do that between the next few days, okay? So, exiting our lazy girl era, I've let some things slip just a little further than I'd like. So I got my list right here. We got a lot of stuff on this list, all right? We have to clean our makeup brushes, clean this kitchen, including the microwave. My microwave is filthy and I'm so embarrassed, y'all. Clean up my filming space in the back, which always seems to need cleaning. I have some pics to take for Instagram, so some product pictures I need to take for Instagram that I'm going to do. I have several of those. Some Poshmark pictures that I need to take. I need to meal plan and prep for next week. We need to grocery shop as well and then do some laundry there's probably going to be other things added to this list throughout this video but we're going to try to get as much done of this as possible because like i said you know we just let some things slip okay i've been feeling just a little bit unmotivated and not wanting to do anything and i figured this was the perfect time i have a few days off work this is the perfect time just to get my life back together so we're gonna start with this kitchen i'm gonna make some coffee we're gonna start on this kitchen and we're about to get our lives together one thing at a time so come along with me just grinds my gears that's this lazy girl era phrase okay so I have been hearing this all the time people in their lazy girl era or exiting their lazy girl era and I realize it's just a popular phrase that we're saying but I also realize that it's playing a part in my mental and the way I see my accomplishments or lack thereof so let's let's chat for a minute okay recently what I've done is I have cleared out my Instagram my TikTok my YouTube I've cleared out my algorithm and I've cleared out some of the girlies and guys who don't relate to me and my life at all sometimes I find myself watching people who have a completely different life from mine no kids no husband no nine to five and I'm watching them and I'm like oh my god they have time to work out for two hours they have time to go on four mile walks every day they have time to clean their whole space up they have time to do this time to do that they're accomplishing things left and right how come I can't get that stuff done and then I have to sit there and remind myself baby girl we do not all have the same 24 hours in a day and that's something that I feel like a lot of us need to hear because we consume content all the time now like it's content is just everywhere right we're scrolling instagram we're scrolling tiktok we're scrolling youtube and we're seeing these women and men accomplish so much and we're sitting there wondering why not us why can't we do that and sometimes we have to get rid of that stuff for our own mental health and realize that if we're going to consume content it needs to be relatable content 
sometimes you only have 30% to give. Your lazy girl era, or I'm sorry, your just tired or your lack of being in a lazy girl era may look like somebody else's lazy girl era. So if you're watching someone's content and they're showing exactly what you've done when you thought you were productive and they're calling it that lazy girl era, that's going to make you feel some type of way. Remember how you feel and get rid of that out of your life. You can always add it back later, but while you're in that headspace, get rid of that out of your life because you don't need it, okay? All of our beginning points are different. All of our end points are different. All of our middles look different. All of our energy levels, our lives, our everything surrounding us looks different. So just make sure you're understanding that as you're consuming content and as you are talking to yourself. A lot of times we talk to ourselves worse than we would talk to strangers or worse than what we would let other people talk to us. Like sometimes you sit there and you think if I, if somebody else were to talk to me the way I'm talking to myself right now, I wouldn't talk to that person no more. So why would you be that person for yourself? Think about that. Marinate on that. Write it down. Write it on your mirror. Look at it every morning and understand that you are doing the best you can with what you have. Don't let people make you feel like you're not doing enough. Don't let people make you feel like you're lazy. We're all just out here doing our best, girl. So you guys, ugh. if you guys have not seen the haul, make sure you check it out. But we have stuff from Sephora, from Ulta, Anissa Beauty, big haul from Marshalls. Oh, and then my shoes. I also got some shoes that I wanted to show in the haul. So if you guys haven't seen that video, it should already be live. So go ahead and check it out. I'll make sure it's linked in this video. Y'all, these braids are coming out. If I don't start taking them out tomorrow, they're going to come out on Thursday and Friday of this week. And we're at the seven week mark, y'all. I can't believe I kept these braids in for seven weeks, one. But two, my hair looks a mess, like a hot mess. And so I'm keeping it up in a bun, but it looks so bad that the bun ain't even going to look good on camera. So we just touched up our makeup, threw on a little hat, and let's get ready to film. What's up you guys, Cece back with another video and for today's video, we're gonna do a haul. All 
All right, y'all. So it has been quite a while since I just did like a regular regular haul. Like just who is looking oily? What's up, y'all? Um, I am. Hold on. Take these Instagram photos I need to take. Yeah, I just finished cooking dinner and I want to get these Instagram photos taken. So basically, I'm going to use this plant as my background and we're going to take some photos. We're going to take some photos of this recent PR that I got. So I got some fun stuff from a few brands and I want to post it on Instagram. Um, it'll probably go on my stories, but I just want to take some cute photos. So I got some stuff from Milk Makeup from Lion Pose. And I also got a package last week from Smashbox. So I just want to take some photos of it. So I'm trying to like set up. So if you guys look, here is it from behind. So I kind of want to take the photo like this and show it off like that so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just take it with my phone always 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 make sure your phone camera is cleaned off always like not a joke make sure your phone camera is cleaned off and then i want to make sure I think we're gonna use cinematic mode can I I can't I'm too close for cinematic mode though yeah I'm gonna actually put it in front of the window hold on let's do this let's put it in front of this window there we go so for the stuff for milk makeup I'm gonna have to actually lay that flat and do it just because it's three products and I can't like hold it all and it look good so I'm gonna have to lay that flat and do the photos but I got the other two photos I'll post them up here this is what they look like and I think they look good like I said these are just going on my story so I don't think these have to be perfect but it's just nice to have nice photos and then shout out the brand um, when you do get PR I like doing photos or do a quick reel um or even if i'm yeah doing a, a quick reel or a makeup tutorial and just shouting out the brand that you're using the products that they've sent you now that's only if you really like the products like for milk makeup i actually haven't tried these jelly um blushes yet so i don't know if i like these yet but i will be trying them this week but i know for a fact i love the hydro grip setting spray like the one i had is probably three-fourths of the way gone so I use that all the time so they re-upped re me they gave me a re -up on that <laughs> so I'm really happy they did that but yeah you don't have to post it if you just like don't like the products or don't really like the brand I mean I guess you wouldn't be on their PR list if you did but I just like to post and say and give a shout out to the brand for sending things over because clearly they don't have to do that it's it's nice I mean it, it obviously it helps them too but they don't have to send you anything so it's nice to to get some of that stuff in PR plus it helps keep keeps you and, and your posts and everything on their radar so they know you're using and they know you're posting about their stuff and maybe they'll you know they'll keep sending you stuff so it helps it's like twofold it helps everyone so I'm gonna take the milk makeup photos and then like I said I do want to clean out my makeup brushes I also need to plan out my week um 
because at the end of this week we are actually going to uh, we're going camping which I'm really excited not like in a tent but we have a cabin and stuff so we're gonna go camping at the end of this week and I think it's gonna be really really fun the entire family's going um my cousin um cousins are going aunt uncle parents everybody's going so it's just gonna be a really good time so um yeah we're gonna be going camping so I gotta make sure this house is clean and we also gotta get packed before we leave on Saturday which is still a week away well a little less than a week away but either way um my to-do list is ever growing so let's keep going y'all my boobs look huge in this shirt is it the bra I think it might be the bra they look good too Ooh. <laughs> all right <laughs> let me take this last photo And that's only daughter 